I tell ya, the sick son of a bitch puts poison in his food! I've got meds. Let me take a look at you. Thanks, buddy. Oh, you saved my life. Here, it's not much, but it's yours. No. Oh. I'm grateful for your help, but do you think a guy could get a little privacy? Probably head back. You're not enjoying life up on the flight? Mm -hmm. It's fine, I suppose. house right and it was all like trying to kill him but then cloud was all like bam bam boom your friend fought a house a house oh hey welcome back bro better already yeah now he won't shut up anyway how did the deliveries go and did about as much as i could thanks for the help and great work anyway i promise to be worth your while here i got something you're definitely gonna like what is it? Well, it belonged to the owner of the clothing store first. Heard from the cook that you boys been running all over town looking for this. Am I right? Wait, we have? Hold up. What were we doing before all this? Oh, shit! The inspiration! Bingo. You see, all us Walmart and entrepreneurs go way back. We get together for a game every night, bet all kinds of stuff. This found its way into the pool and eventually into my possession, and now it's yours, because, hey, why the hell not? It's a VIP card, highly coveted and extremely rare. They're only given to a select few. Not having it is gonna do you much good, but... Holy mother of... No way! Bro, we gotta get to the honey... Er, I, I, I mean, drunkards on the double! Tell the old man I said hi! To the drug, 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 drug. Oh, hey. Come on, come on, come on! I gotta know! My heart is beating so fast, bro. Like it's gonna burst right out of my chest. Hey, old dude, we're back! Huh? Who are you? You're no son of mine. I think. Special delivery, just for you. Oh, my inspiration! You've returned to me at long last. Yo, is that what I think it is? Oh, you bet it is. And it was hard won. I sew dresses day and night for those ladies until I got what I was after. A honeybee in VIP card! I know! Knew it! Now make way for the VIP, boys. I don't want to keep my ladies waiting any longer. But first, I should pick up a gift dress. Lead the way, old dude. We are coming. Chocobo <sighs> bean pop.
<sighs> well, thanks for bringing him back. Can't imagine what you went through. Here, you earned it. Hey, you're coming, right, bro? Get ready for a real wall market education. I'm done with this. You, you can do whatever the hell you want. I get it, bro. You're scared. It's only natural for people to fear the unknown. Uh. It's a pity you're not gonna join us, but I swear to you, bro, as an aspiring wall market connoisseur, I'm gonna go in there and get as much inspiration as I can handle for you, bro. For you. Because, Cloud, you are my one true bro. Honeybee in, here I come! Inspiration, here I come! <sighs> Perfect example of how age has absolutely nothing to do with maturity. Couldn't agree more. Should probably go see Sam again. Until I see the price tag inside. Huh. Eh? So, tell me, what did you see in our little enclave of sand and debauchery? Bet it was an eye-opening experience. Nothing I haven't seen before. That it for jobs? Not exactly. I got one more favor to ask. You want to get teeth out, right? What's your angle? <laughs> Just get your ass to the Coliseum. You'll see. We've been waiting for you, champ! Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give them a show! Lovers of bloodshed and mayhem! Your favorite champion, Cloud, is back in the ring! Right now, this boy may be hot, hot, hot. But look out, folks, because these dynamite challengers may just blow the champ clean off his throne. I hope you brought shades because you're about to see some fireworks. Fighters, begin! No holding back. Too bad. You're done. Hope you're ready. I'll end this. It's over. Yes! The reigning champ does it again! 
Was that hot enough for you, fight fans? Did the champ bring the heat? Indeed he did. He proved there's nothing more explosive than the guns he's packing. Nice going, champ. You were in fine form today. Here's your cut. You earned it. Not here for the cash. Tell me about Tifa. Ah, Tifa. She's something of a bombshell herself, huh? Girl keeps in shape, and boy, does it show. Hey. Just making an observation, that's all. Anyway, seems like you're serious about getting the poor girl out of her predicament. I can tell easy enough by the way you fought back there. Cut to the chase. Well? You helping or not? Never said I would. Opposite, even. Getting mixed up in other people's business isn't my way. Plus, as you are now, I reckon you could ride to her rescue without anybody's help. And that's the truth. You've changed since you first rolled into this here town. For the better. At any rate, I've said all I'm gonna say. Your lady friend ought to be done changing by now, am I right? She ain't no Tifa, but she is a firecracker. Keep her waiting too long and she might just blow up in your face. Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro! I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for mm. Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said... Hmm? Huh? The way you right. fight, bro, is, is like poetry and violence. Isn't it? Bam, bam, whoosh, whoosh, you know? <gasps> This is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there once she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir. Got a letter of approval right here. Hmm? 
You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. This dress is so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, uh, yeah. Cloud? Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Look at you, all dolled up and fabulous. Well, what do we have here? You're quite the pretty little lady. the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Hey. Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. 
We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. I've dreamt of this moment. The honey bee is... And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself. Our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! Hey, hold on! come to town. Come on, come on! The show's about to start! <laughs> my, my! Is that Cloud? Mm -hmm. mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, he's flushing. It can be bitter, but we can make it all so sweet. Here at the Honey Bee in every moment. The tree. Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Follow my lead.
you tried. <laughs> 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 Honey, I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! True beauty is an expression of the heart, a thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid of love. That show today blew my mind! Did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. It was amazing. Drink. We can talk. Was it planned from the start? Probably not. Did you oh, see their look of surprise? Now that was a show. I'm gonna perform on stage next time. It'll be my big break. Please don't. One more drink. What do you say? It's a getting pretty late. Look at her. Not a word. Not even one? No! Such beauty. But you're so pretty! Wouldn't you agree? I would give anything to get to know her. One more. Come on. No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madam M's girl, ain't it? And she's hot. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking. Sweet 
smell? Then why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. Uh, uh? Come on. Damn it. Cloud. I know, thank you. Moving on. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. Hey, Tifa. How you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized, I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You, me, Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. Come on, you know you're into this. <laughs> Now ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on ladies, let's hustle. <laughs> do you want to do this? Beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. <sighs> hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. <sighs> uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? So let's do this thing. Introducing Wall Market's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. 
<laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Hmm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. Leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh. You're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Good day! Oh! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to. Get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Don't you stupid! Wait! Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts, your gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Better hurry. Better hurry. Quality time, cuz I like bet they're going at it right now. Look at that. What are you doing here? Kind of hey, hurt. Why don't you lead the way? Six? That's it. Bring it. Gotcha. It's a no surprises there. Hee <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy bastard. I am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners, too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! <laughs> oh? 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 So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Yeah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. <laughs> when they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all-expenses-paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. <laughs> 